Hey guys, welcome back. This is Atlantis. And Sarah's Knight. And this is Let's Play Mega Man Legends 2. Part 2. <laughs> so if you remember last time, we um, pretty much started getting ready to head into the, what was looking like to be the, like, I don't know, kind of final stage of the game. Yeah. Like, the way they presented the the Lost, or the Forbidden Island, it's like, sounds like you're going to do all this, like, other random crap before you'll even be able to get there that's going to, you know, pretty much take place the entire game. But no, we're about to go there right now. <laughs> so, you know, awesome. And it oh, turns yeah. out it's not really all that forbidden. Oh, and this is the world map, by the way. It's actually kind of cool. They actually put a world map in Mega Man Legends. Now, let's see. There's not really any tech. It's not really any voice here. Just uh, it's probably gonna start breaking up anyway. So I really man, got I can't fix that. I tried. Are you I ready, Mega Man? Mega Man? Yeah, yep. it's already doing yep. it. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ross just asking if you're ready to drop out. Here you go. Away, away. <laughs> uh, we. Don't you have to be pretty well dressed in order to make it just through the freezing weather in there? Not if you're a robot. No, I figured that would hurt. And I always thought that was really bad acting right there. He's just going like. Ur, ur, ur. Like I could I could just see that clip playing over and over again and making like some kind of <laughs> bathroom reference. <laughs> That'd be funny. I'm pretty sure if you tried to YouTube it, you'd find something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure as well. And what's great is you still don't have any special weapons to equip for this. Oh, really? Uh, all you got is your Buster. I don't know if we if we really tried looking around if we could find any parts to make at least one special weapon before this. I think but. we could, but you know what? We're badass enough. We don't need to. That's right. <laughs> oh, watch this game over. Oh, and by the way, I have decided <laughs> that I will not pursue Dark Mega Man this time around. I, I don't. I just don't think it's worth the twenty percent increase in prices. Shoot no. Just to be funny. Morning, morning. Okay, it might help if I actually bother to get those rupees before. Oh yeah, it would help immensely, actually. What I can't believe is that they actually went so far as to just make little, uh, those little silver pieces. I think they're worth ten rupees. I mean, Zinni. What, what's uh, yeah. Uh, why did I say rupees? Because we were playing Zelda not too long ago. Oh, and also these are in the shape of rubies, so it makes me think. Okay. That was weird. Did you see your, like, pellets, like, dying yeah. ahead of time? It was like the event to summon these three guys was actually a wall or something. Come on, boss victory through here. Well, I doubt I could get through the entire dungeon, but... Nah, especially the fight with the mammoth. I mean, spoiler alert. Since... Well, that one attack he does where he just launches ice boulders at you, <laughs> that's really hard to avoid. Can't you get... Isn't there stuff to get behind? Yeah, but even after a while, I think, like, either some of them managed to sneak around somehow and, and just, you know, barely graze you, which, might, you know, according to the game, it just counts as full damage anyway. Yeah. Or, I had this really vague memory, I'm probably wrong, of, like, the pillars actually breaking after a while. They take... They, the yeah, you're probably right. So, um, since, uh, since we, well, I mentioned it in the last video, I think in this one, I'll go ahead and bring this up too, but, uh-oh. It's a... No. Oh, never mind. It's not that time yet. But uh, I have played some Chrono Trigger DS. Oh, yep. And I am thoroughly enjoying it. You now, ever wonder how these people survived? They're Being in their from... magical dome of life. Yeah. But Chrono Trigger DS is actually really good. They made some changes that I really don't care for, like changing names of things from the original that doesn't benefit the game in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Did you forget the timer? Yeah, yeah. I can't remember that for the life of me. But, yeah, like, the, the biggest problem I've had, and this isn't really even that big of a problem, is that they didn't have the original SNES intro if you stay at the start screen for too long. Yeah. And they changed the names of the Mystics to a generic 
bad guy name, The Fiends. I'm like, really? Why would you do that? That's not it. That doesn't even make sense. There, there, there are mystics that are actually a peaceful, you know. There's like some peaceful mystics. So why should they be called fiends? They're not fiends. They're Wait, just... I just need to start a point here. For anybody who would like a good gaming strategy for this part against these guys, just jump around them and they usually won't be able to touch you. Apparently. <laughs> they were really scary the first time I came across them. You know, you just, you think they're like, you know, you kind of just, um, no, 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 just no. a curiosity, you know. You just see them rise and you're like, uh, what's that thing? And you just shoot at it just to, you know, see what happens. And all of a sudden they're like, ah, rampaging killer. Anyway, you were saying. Oh, no, I was just... But, uh, they, you can na actually name Chrono, Chrono, and not Chrono, because yeah. they give you the... Well, actually, it'd still be Chrono, because the H doesn't make the O long, but still. You can you can put an H in there if you wanted to. Like, I was thinking of, like, alternate names for everyone. Like, Chrono, you could actually add the H. Marley would be Nadia. Magus Janus. Robo would be his serial number. R six six dash Y. Yeah. Frog would be Glenn, you know. Hey, you ever wondered why maybe uh whenever and this guy's really fast and hard to hit, that's why he doesn't have much HP, but And the range on your buster kinda sucks. Yeah, and yet he still kinda counts as a boss fight. Hit him hit him come on, hit him with your uh with your fire extinguisher. <laughs> come on, maybe he's weak to water. I think on normal mode he only takes like five hits. But I tried to look cool and dodge out of the way, and I failed miserably. I always wondered, you know, why, with all the 69 omens that happened to me, it's kind of amazing why during the times I'd, uh, game o I would game over on the uh, R-Series fight in the factory, why, you know, like, the only one who was left, the only one who killed me was R69Y. <laughs> <laughs> Because it ended like 63 through 69 as the R series or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that, that you fight in the factory. And and that's actually seven total, and Robo's the only one that didn't. But, that went, that, yeah, yeah, there is so much new stuff in Chrono Trigger DS. Like, it's insane how much extra crap they put in there. And if, uh, go to RPG Maker Magazine, go to I'm the forums. I'm him, screw this. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, go to the forums, and there's a thread that Ixion put up. <laughs> and I've recently posted... Everything they've added in there. But they... Yeah, whatever. But, uh... Well, you've only taken one hit. I think you're doing fairly well. What I can't stand is that he's just so hard to hit. Isn't it... Don't you have a range booster? Uh... I think I bought an attack power booster of some sort and an energy booster. Both by two... Which is about the best I could do at this point. There wasn't a range? Yeah, I think there was, but you know me, I'm all about energy over... Yeah, energy. well, you know, it might have helped here. Oh, right, you picked up that extra ten zenny. <laughs> what other what other game used zenny? Breath of Fire? No. It... No. I don't know. I know at least I know there was, one was just plain cash. I know for a fact there is some other might not even might not have even been from a a video game. It might have been like from anime or something. But I know. Oh. So oh. I just um, ran right into him and then I kind of stood there like an idiot and let him keep owning me. Because as we all know, just touching something. <laughs> I mean, I understood if there was like you know giant spikes on the side of on their sides or something, of course you touch that, you blow up instantly because you're Mega Man. Yeah. <laughs> spikes are your no, one... No, spikes! Oh yeah, one of the mammoth guys. And break through the snow. Yeah, this is what... I remember they're gonna narrow... They're only gonna try to start shooting you in a ravine. That's always fine. Yeah, I couldn't stand that. It's like an endless supply that just keeps coming. You gotta bob and weave behind... There was you missed some health capsule over there that you. Uh, oh well, hopefully he'll give me one. <laughs> nice. Oh boy, it's a good thing There's I was another, up there. Thank you for picking up that health capsule. <laughs> oh. 
Oh boy. What? Easy. Zenny, Zenny. Zenny! And I think I'm about to go the wrong way. Yeah. There, well, you know what? I bet you we really could have gotten a, a, a sub weapon by now if we would have just looked. Well. Ah, uh, bottomless abyss. <laughs> Gotta love those. And here they come. Wait, I got jet skates. I can, uh... Too bad you can't... Can you kill them? I never really tried to shoot them before. Uh, Man, that would be like an infinite zenny thing. Yeah, but they go by so fast, I really don't think that you could really... Well, I bet you... Can you come back here later in the game? Whoa. Wow, dude, that, that was a little close. Jump, jump, jump. Or not. What always floors me is that they come out of nothing. No, <laughs> they come from the sky. They fall and then drift. Oh, boy. Oh, what happened there? Transition. Hey, Data. Doing see, the Data as dance. you can also see, it's not really even that long a dungeon. It's kind of retarded. Yeah, so much for the Forbidden Still, Island. Still, I think the concept is cool. All the, the blizzards and the bottomless abysses and everything. I always like these kinds of levels in RPGs. Always. For a Forbidden Island, it's not very foreboding, you know? You couldn't make it through there alive. I could, too. Wielding the Northern Broadsword. Northern? I'm sorry, Southern. Get her right or pay the price. Put Bling. <laughs> oh, this is it. Kind of did like the this thing on the uh, Fist of the North Star where you have like the Fist of the North Star and the Southern Cross or something like that. And so this is it. This is supposed to be the mother load right here that, you know, everybody's been struggling to and get. And yet, as you can see, <laughs> well, as you this will see, it, it's, the not, mother load. it's not really much of anything. It's a floating diamond. And now there's a giant mammoth that was under it. This dude's going to take forever to kill. Oh, well, let's hope we have some decent commentary for the time being. Uh, yeah. I knew there was stuff to stand behind. Oh, 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 oh. That always makes It's just a giant ice dispenser. Jump. Oh, well, it looks like I'm taking off a li Yeah, I guess on very hard mode, they just really up the max HP. Oh, crap. Oh, wow. Oh, I, I, I actually meant to jump because I thought it was going to reach me, but that was just lucky, I guess. If I get this flawless, though, I'll still be really amazed. Kind of like that time when we were playing uh, Zelda 64, and I almost flawless to Ganon's last form. Yeah, almost. And you just screwed up just then. Well, every now and then, as he's, as you're circling around him, he'll in, end up eventually get too close to you, and, you know. Well, back up. Okay, you can stop following me. I really don't like that. Oh my gosh. I really don't no. like how you're that big and you're following me around. Ice dispense. Crap. Do you take any more damage in a, a very hard mode, or does the damage still get... Oh, I mean, I mean, I know that the price for the, the life extension is more, which kind of hampers you in the life area, you know? But uh, never mind. He still has quite a bit of HP. We've already been fighting him for a while. I know I've, I'm pretty sure I've hit him at least 200 times. And, Ow. oh boy, that really hurt. Do not get caught in that. Energy canteen. I better be careful. Stop doing that. It's a coin toss whether I'm going to be able to avoid it or not. Ah, I jumped at the wrong time. Ow. I wow. Will, I will sincerely apologize if we game over already. It will be my fault. I will admit it. Wow. And I can see that one coming. Oh, I hate that attack. Oh. I can't. I'm going to. I'm probably going to lose. No, no, not acceptable. Don't you lose. No, not, not... I should do, like, on, like, little three-year-old TV cartoons and talk to the audience and be like, Okay, audience, let's cheer for SK. 
<laughs> and somehow or another, you know, that, like, yeah. actually, in turn, give you the power to... Well, if you kept doing that the whole time, I'd win him for sure. Because I can definitely, you know... Ah, there uh, he goes. Yes, yeah, so please keep doing that. Come keep. on, man. We beat MML1 without dying. That is true. We've got to do this, too. It was on normal mode, though. What, it, are we noobs? No. Well, well <laughs> Come on, please keep doing that attack that I can avoid. Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I, 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 <laughs> yes, keep doing that. Keep doing that. Watch him just somehow get me at the last possible second. Come on, come I swear on, come, it on looks, come on. It looks like his life is draining a whole lot slower than normal. <laughs> like the game, Almost there. The game's oh trying to prolong it. Did. Yeah. Go get that Zinni. Or actually, I don't there think There is no, no. Come on. I know the game, was, the game was trying to prolong it at the end. I have no helmet either. That's yeah, but we did didn't. I, wait, I did have dude. A helmet, you would have been dead if we didn't go back and buy that armor, like I suggested. Probably three fourths damage. You only had like three fourths life left after one of those hits. <laughs> All right. That was way less. Than so the sulfur bottom has yet to crash. How long have we been? Stupid. Yeah, never mind that. They're just talking about, you know, the crash. But did you see that? The entire time we it were was walking still spiraling around. through the air. While we were running around Kalinka and went through that first dungeon. and Well, if you, if you can't hear the audio, you need to um, instead go get this game and play it for yourself because it's an awesome game. Would we? Would we? He just made a joke about um, if we were ready for him, we wouldn't call him accidents. Uh, and there's uh, the other pirates. Claymore. And stuff. No, yeah, it's Bola. In this game, we uh, yeah. Wait, no, Claymore was the big, the big. Claymore, pack, yeah, and Bola was the. Obviously, the ship really has been spiraling around all this time because now they're talking about how sick they are. Look at the mother load. Mother load, it's all ours. And you'll find out it's really actually nothing here in a second. Well, no, it's something. It's just nothing of monetary <laughs> value. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at my fire extinguisher. Huh? Or my super soaker. I can't stand the polygons animation right here. Oh, come on. It, it shows this girl naked, and it's just like, no. Oh, well, that's true. And you just don't want all these... Ugh. Oh, come on. That's hot. Oh, yeah. I mean, her backside is pointy. <laughs> what the heck? she got short hair. I hate short hair. And she anyway. does not have uh, targets on her... She's like one of those, she doesn't have a bullseye on her target, like so to speak. It's like one of those uh, Barbie dolls or whatever, right? And yes, I know that because my sister used to play on them when I was little, so nobody start thinking that I... Whatever. It's yeah. too late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is Mistress Sarah, if you didn't hear. Yeah. We have activated her. And that dude talking right there with... Uh, the person you think is Matilda is like that person she called cats. He was a, he was a robotic bird a minute ago, but he transformed because he's awesome like that. Cats is kind of cool though. Yeah. He didn't play a big enough part in this game, I think. And he's also holding that that shell of a person that yeah. we found in the capsule earlier. Yep. Yeah. Which I probably walked right by without even paying attention. No, you ch you investigated it. Oh, I did. Yeah, well, I was listening to you ranting for some I reason. I was when I was talking about Chrono Trigger. Yeah. 
All right, now they're talking about some like deep shit here, like or what you think is deep, but it well, really for is Mega Man Le- for Mega Man Legends storyline, they they this is what is considered the yeah. deep about the master and all this crap. And yeah, Matilda's saying, "Oh boy, I guess we're about to have something go down," and she's asking Gats like. Hmm, what if the Master decided the Carbons were important after all? And if y'all remember from the ending of Mega Man Legends 1, you know, Juno mentioned something about Carbons, which were like Everyone. Humans. Yeah. So maybe we could be in a battle for the decision to find out whether humans, humans deserve to live or not, which is really probably kind of the basis of a lot of RPG stories. Hey, did it not... When, when did it decide to not crash anymore? <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden the sulfur bomb is totally repaired. Well, as long as it took the crash, I guess someone could find out what the problem was and fix it in that amount of time. And now uh, Sarah and her man, Geats, are talking all mysterious, so you wonder what they're up to, if they're on your side or not. We'll find out. And now uh, Teasel and Tron are trying to... Listen in on some private conversation. What was that dumb fellow doing there? I think we can. Yeah, let's go ahead and try to. One thing's for sure. Now I'll get him this time, or my name's not. Shh. I'm picking something up. Go ahead. So, what you're saying is if you have possession of these four keys, we can unlock the Mother Load and save Mistress Sarah. Is that it? Correct. We are from the past, your ancestors. We are in a world we never made. We mean no harm. We simply desire to live out the rest of our lives as best we can. Skeptical. Of course, your troubles will be rewarded. With the keys, you will have access to technology that has long been lost to you. You would have the ability to make all the refractors you need. I understand. Leave finding the keys to us. We are not the o- we are not the only ones searching searching for the mother for the mother. <laughs> You're not even gonna bother. Uh, yeah. For your safety, I recommend, I recommend that you. St- it's that like you whenever here, right here. whenever it like moves location to another place, all the text is okay mm. for like a minute, mm. then it goes into repeat mode. And here's where Beryl finds speak, that speak Teasel and Tron are listening in. This is funny right here. And static. <laughs> that was the gayest look on Glide's face. Well, I think Glide is a little more... He really... Isn't it like in the Misadventures of Trombon, he pretty much opens himself up? I think so. Doesn't he like call Teasel cute or something weird like that? I, I think so. Oh yeah, we. Hey, was the train battle in this one or was yeah, that? Yeah, the train battle was. It? I, I couldn't remember awesome. that. Awesome, awesome battle. There's only, there's only two of you, of you. Oh yeah, if y'all didn't, uh, if y'all didn't notice, I think we hadn't talked about this yet. Those two guys you see with Teasel and Tron are like pirates from different groups there. Yeah. So you actually have like three groups of pirates you'll be dealing with. You have the Bonds, uh, whatever Glide calls his crew. Yeah, it's that Glide, Glide's that gay looking dude, with, and he, you'll find out that all of his uh, serve bots are, are like birds. Yeah. And, they, and then the other the other pirate, his name is Claymore, he has a partner that hasn't been introduced yet, his name yeah. is Bola. And they're Claymore like, and Bola are awesome. Yeah. And I think they alone could take on the Bonds and Glide's crew at the same time by themselves. I, I actually and so the pirates are deciding. Well, we got to find those keys that Sarah was talking about before Mega Man dies. And they really get on his nerves. Pirates on the move already. On the move. What is Barrel like clutching the microphone in his fist? <laughs> like, ah, I got you. But basically, Beryl and um, Von Blucher, or I, I say Blucher, I know they pronounce it Blucher, but it's spelled like Blucher, so. I won't say Blucher anyway. Basically, those two just sit here on the ship and pretty much just tell you, hey, you go do here this. next. They do absolutely nothing else. 
You know there was a uh, a game shark code for this game to play as roll. Basically, it just took Mega Man's model and changed it for Roll's model. So you run around as Roll. That's pretty much it. Yeah. So I'll, you see, like her fragile human body gets shot up and everything, and but she pretty but much. But it was it was on the it was on the fight where you fought uh, Tron by herself in that big robot. Awesome, so, like so, it's a grudge match. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I'll I'll uh, I'll show you that video. It's on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, so you can you can easily if you look for it uh, you'll you'll find it easy enough. Uh, here's um how to be a digger. All right, I know there's parts for Buster for a sub sub yeah. weapon around here. And I know there's there's money. Stashed in fact, in I think that I think one of the parts for the shining lasers here. All right, we'll look around. We'll Uh, let's see. The ship actually isn't as big as you think now, it is. Now, the docking station for the flutter, I know there's some stuff there. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, we'll get it. I'm just saying. Just saying. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> saying. <laughs> that light, I'm just saying, excuses anything you say. <laughs> for some reason, it's just if you say the meanest thing, as long as you say, I'm just saying. Hey, look, it's the plot for any generic high school anime. <laughs> well, only change two to, like, six. Yeah, there you go. You pretty much... And of course, the guy's got to be a total wuss and not yeah. like not like women or something. Like, haven't yet discovered that women are sexually appealing. <laughs> yeah. It's like what? What? I don't understand what's going that on. That was me and Ken. Uh, I think all the way up until third grade. No, fifth grade. In fifth grade, this girl would. I don't think she really liked me, but she like pretend she did just to like scare me because she knew I still wasn't in that liking girl stage yet. So, so in other words, like, so, yeah. so in other words, this was last week. Ow. Are you saying I'm a child? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I did something to screw up the NMR last night when I worked, and when uh, Relief came in, <laughs> McCook comes in there, and, you know, he's the goofball. Yeah. He he, he goes, eh, just restart the computer. And then he looks over me and he goes, this is why we shouldn't allow children to play with such delicate machinery. <laughs> delicate machinery? The only reason why it's so delicate is because so, it's so damn old. No, we got a new one in, remember? Yeah, but is it still... N is it really new? Or is it just... Oh, no, it's refurbished, but I mean, like... Then it's, it's not... Then it's it, still a piece of crap. In terms of technology, though, it actually seems pretty... Up to... Uh, uh, okay, I didn't mean to defend it. No, you're right. I okay, mean, okay. all the machinery in there still sucks. <laughs> Enough small talk. So yeah, Blue Shirt is basically just gonna ask me to be his bitch, and that's what you do. You do, you do bitch work. <laughs> Mega Man Two subtitle bitch work. So have you started on uh, Brissinger yet or not? No, no. And I by haven't. the way, for those that do not know the Inheritance series by Christopher Palini, I guess that's how you pronounce Good it. Good enough. Uh, the first book, Aragon, which they made a movie after, and don't see the movie, please, for God's sakes, don't do it. I actually don't think most people know that the Aragon series is actually called the Inheritance series. Yeah, but if you like the first book of that series, Aragon, it, well, Eldest and Brissinger aren't I as great, but it's still good enough. I liked Eldest, thank you very much. I have not. I've got. I just, I just said they were. I've got Brissinger, but I haven't started it yet. So, I've been. I, dude, this time of year, it's just like, hey, all the good games that you've been hearing about, here, all at the same time. Yeah. This is so stupid right here. You notice this room, where like they hide the keys and they're like, oh, you can go back there and see them if you want. Well, first of all, there's nothing to see because the room's pretty darn well, ordinary and all the keys look exactly the same, and it's not like there's anything you can. There's just nothing you can do back there. Well, what if you, like... Oh, what if nothing? I'm just saying... I'm just saying, what if you just got into this game, like, like, and you got, like, two keys, right? And then you stopped playing for a long time, and you started back up, and you didn't really quite remember how far you were in the game. If you went in that room, you'd go, like, oh, that's right, I got the second key. Uh, sure. <laughs> Fuck you, bucko. <laughs> Sorry, but we always have <laughs> to keep the tradition of doing the, uh... Aaron Eklund, because yeah. that's the only cool thing he ever did. Ah, uh, Roll was listening in. Yeah, and now she's conniving. Yeah, she's a conniver. It's 
too bad. I ho- um, hopefully the voice won't skip on the part that we're about to come up before you fight uh, Tron, because, I mean, I'm pretty sure if listeners, you know, if all the li- if listeners can hear, I am... You're fine. Give it a second. Okay. <laughs> there it is. Or it might have been my fault. I think I clicked off. Then y'all would be made royally pissed off at Tron, and rightfully so. Um, maybe we tries- did freeze up. That would suck. It would be good, because I don't remember saving. Huh. Um, un momento. Alright. No worries. Okay, um... Yeah, we managed to unfreeze it. Of course, according to you guys, it really looks like we didn't break off or anything. Or it sounds like it. <laughs> 1,000 zenny. Yeah, and then there's something... Well... Well, maybe Mega Man's not interested, but maybe I am. Make sure you check all the crates, or all the groups of crates. Yeah. I checked that one, didn't I? Yeah. Heavy Duty Gear. Now... (laughs) Please. It was about to, you know... I think the Heavy Duty Gear was the what we're looking for. Wait, I know there was one room I missed upstairs. Alright. Let's go back to it just in case. I know, like, a Serb boss just walking around and hears something. He's like, They left me! <laughs> Why is he allowed to walk around? Oh, no, he's not the one that cries about how he got left, but anyway. My Memoirs by Werner Blah 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 Blah. Blucher. Bletcher. Yeah. yeah, I think that's what we're going to call him from now on. Von Bletcher. Bletch. That's one ugly painting. <clears throat> Is there anything under the... Nope. Imagine that. I remember finding a whole lot more money in here than we did. Hard mode, dude. Oh, well... Wait, do you think treasure really tr- changes? I wouldn't be... I wouldn't, uh... I never noticed it the two times I played very hard mode from the original. But, nah, eh, whatever. <laughs> There's, like, crap back here. <laughs> crap? <laughs> there it is. Right, I was going... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's t- it's a, if a scary person finds him, who was that? Um... Roll. <laughs> wow. All right. Let's see what you got. Uh, we need this and this. And I say we worry about parts first. Um, I wish I knew how. I'm gonna go ahead and get that. It's hard mode, and if we're trying to go for n- yeah. no game over, that's probably the safest thing we can do. Why is anybody selling a helmet? Is that something Roll has to make again? Actually, I thought... Didn't we get a... No, we don't have a helmet yet. No, that's going to take attack down the one if we do that. And I prefer... No, only, only if we... Only if we replace, like, the attack plus two thing we oh, got. Oh, then we'd have attack plus three, but we'd lose energy. But that energy. takes energy... Uh, well, I think probably it's better to stay at a safe distance over... Uh, let's get an extra pack. And man, we can still buy another pack. Yeah, we'll uh, get the <laughs> medicine bottle later. And we can uh, medicine we... bottle. You definitely need to because there are status effects in this game, and they are not fine. No, no, they are not. They are never fine. In fact, you notice like how much faster your energy goes down if you like, like hop up and down in fire oh. eyes. It's horrible, but sometimes you can't help it. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll, uh... Get rid of turbocharger. Add... There we go. Too bad we can't get... There was one that was, like, extra rapidity. Rapid. Yeah, but... There was no rapid and range at the same time. Uh, if there was, like, a combination of rapid and range, I would go for that. I would go for rapid and attack. No, go no, ahead. You you re- you really actually need kind of range in the next fight with Tron. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll give you that. 
Did you equip you, the equip the armor that you just bought? Because you definitely don't want to be close to her during that fight. Ah, nice. Slightly better. You want to sell off your old one? Yeah. yeah. It'll probably sell for like a hundred bucks. I think they always sell for like a fourth their original price. So. <sighs> Assholes. Yeah, it's kind of crappy. I think RPGs should sell everything back no, less you know, no than, less than half. Yeah, no less. No <laughs> less than half. I just can't stand RPGs where getting money is such a chore. It, it, or it's either well, it's not like it's not like so much that money's rare, but everything is super expensive. Even the simplest items like potion or phoenix down. Kind of like freaking ammo in Dead Space. Yes. Oh my gosh. That's just not even right. Like for it's like two thousand bucks for two shots from the line gun. It's a good thing enemies drop ammo so much. If it wasn't for the the ammo drops, we would be screwed. You know what? We probably should have went ahead and uh, forewent the extra packs to go ahead and get the flutter fixed up. Oh, I completely uh, forgot yeah, about so, that. Uh, oh well. Yeah, I rolled things during your search for the four legendary keys to whatever. I don't even know what you're getting keys to. I never figured it out. <laughs> don't really care either. She thinks she'll find her parents and all that mess. Oh, that heavy-duty gear goes with the broken drill to make the drill arm. Ah. And we finally got our first weapon, homing missile. Pretty good, pretty good. Unfortunately, we can't improve anything on it yet. Because we'd be broke-ass. Yeah, see, as you can see, everything already starts out pretty darn expensive. But the thing is, if we can get the bathroom scene with roll, then that goes down by 10%. That sounds so perverted, the bathroom scene. <laughs> but mm. you, what, what you mean is that you're just watching her take a bath, not like... Uh, yeah, not like there's any action. Yeah, like weird, weird perverted stuff, like people want to... I'm never gonna understand. But it's it. gonna it's gonna be a while before we can do that because we have to get all the presents for roll. Yeah. All of them. It's gonna be a while. You know that flutter, that little miniature flutter model that flies around a room. You can hang off of that and fly around a room. Really? Yeah. Cool. I gotta do that. Just kind of hover around a room. Yeah. So we're off on our first dig, and uh, roll thinks that dude back in the Kalinka was her dad or something, and. Yeah. You mean Joe? Or she thinks he can tell her about her dad, even though... How does well, how she... Would how could she... What gave her a hint? Any hint as to that? Because um, she's stupid. You know what? Right quick. Let's just go ahead. Uh, move back to... Kalinka? I know there's another part for something in Kalinka. I think I remember what where it was. It was in... Now, let's go ahead and just raise a few thousand right quick, just get the flutter fix. Definitely won't take long in this case. Well, Probably we got about 15 minutes before we have to end this. Yeah. Yes, we rescued those anxious... Oh, wait, she said she wasn't picking up any activity. I forgot, the enemies did actually disappear? Nothing's happening. Not like before. Apparently not. I think this is when you come back when you have all four keys. And I think that dialogue was actually supposed to happen then. Really? Yeah, I think we, like, heard dialogue we're not supposed to hear for a while. Oh, it's kind of like somebody messed up on switches in Well, no, RPG no, it Maker. does it's not going to harm anything. It's just not going to happen next time we come, which she already said it. There's no point for her to say it again. Okay, well, we'll go back to uh, that dungeon in Kalinka and try to raise a few. Well, things. actually, we can go ahead and end it here and not... You know, make them have to okay. drone out while we freaking raise money. Let's go ahead and see the... Uh, yeah, yeah, we, we got, got a little. Well, I thought, well... Yeah. Okay, it's not going to cost as much as I thought. So, yeah, our first destination is down here. Down under. So, yeah, we're like in... Uh... It's like Australia down there or something. Uh, anyway. I come from the London, London. We'll go ahead and end the LP. And we'll... This part of it.
And we'll catch you back here un momento. All right. Peace.